Hey guys, your casual gamer here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom version of Desmu Me, the Nintendo DS emulator. Now, this isn't the official build that you will find on the official Desmu Me page. This version will allow you to use enhanced 3D textures, making your game look a lot better something you cannot do in the official build of the simulator. There's a link in the description below that will take you to a Google Drive page where you can download this version of Desmu Me. Okay, so you're also gonna need 7-Zip to extract the emulator, so if you don't already have 7-Zip installed on your computer, the link to this page is in the description below. Here's the compressed emulator file on my desktop. Now to extract this file, assuming you already have 7-Zip downloaded, you just want to right click on it, go to show more options, 7-Zip, and then extract the DSHD. It's going to create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip folder, so we can right click on that and delete it. Now let's open that folder, and here's our emulator, Desmu Me X64. Now when you first open the emulator, you will notice that the screen size is way too big. You just want to go up to view, window size, and I'm going to shrink this down to three times. Okay, now let's go up to config and emulation settings. And under CPU emulation mode, go ahead and check the box to use dynamic recompiler. This will make this emulator run as smooth as possible. And make sure you stay on 100. Click OK. Now let's go back up to config, go to sound settings. Now to get the best sound quality, we're going to switch this to synchronous. And down here, make sure it's on sync method in. OK. And now we're going to bump up those graphics. Let's go up to config, come down to high resolution 3D renderer, and we're going to bump this up to the highest times four. Go back up to config, go to 3D settings. For the renderer, OpenGL will give you the best performance with this emulator. But if your computer doesn't have a graphics card, then you may want to change this to soft rasterizer. That's if you are experiencing any lag in game. And go ahead and check the box down here, enable anti-aliasing. Okay. Now we're going back up to config again. And this time we're going to frame skip. And we're going to check limit frame rate. You're going to have to open it back up and we're going to bump this all the way up to nine. Go back into it one last time and make sure that auto minimize skipping is also checked. Now, the reason we just did that is because if you want to fast forward in games, this will make your fast forwarding smooth. Now to set up your hotkeys so that you can have a fast forward key, come over to hotkey config. And in here, you can go ahead and set up all of your hotkeys. And there's your fast forward. And one more thing we want to check back up to config and all the way at the bottom, fast forward slash slow motion speed limit. This should already be set, but just make sure that fast unlimited is checked and slow 50 FPS is checked. Now let's map out our controls. Back up to config and control config. Now I have only tested an Xbox One, Xbox Series, and a Nintendo Switch Pro controller with this emulator. And all three of those controllers do work. The controller I'm using right now is a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Just make sure that you have a Bluetooth connection with your PC before you open this emulator and your controller will be good to go. Now to map your buttons out, all you want to do is hit whatever button you want to be that button that's highlighted green. So as of right now, it wants us to map out our button for up. So I'm just going to press up on my pro controller. Now it wants to know left, down, right, B, A. It's going to take you through every button. Map your controller out how you would like. When you are done, go ahead and click OK. Now before we load up a game, I want to show you guys what a compressed DS-ROM looks like and how to make it playable in the emulator. So in this folder, I have three DS games that need to be extracted. And to extract them, we are going to use 7-Zip. Let's do Sonic Colors. Right click on it, show more options, 7-Zip, and then extract here. And then you're going to get a new file and the file type will be NDS file. These type of files are playable in Desmu Me. Go ahead and delete the zip folder. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. 
go up to file, open ROM, locate wherever you have your DS ROMs, and select the game you want to play. Now, if you want to change your screen layout, you want to go up to view, LCDs layout. So right now we are on horizontal. Let's switch to vertical. And we also have one LCD. I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to horizontal. And another way you can lay your screen out is to go up to view, go down to screen size. And right now we're at 100% to 100%. And if we were to go up to the top 100% to 50%, that will make your left screen big and your right screen small. Now, the best way to do this is come down to 50% to 100%. This will make your right screen big, which is your main game screen, and your left screen small, which is basically your touch screen. Let me show you what this will look like. There you go. And I can enlarge this. So there are multiple ways you can lay your screens out. So play around with these and find out what makes you happy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.